The homie Butters definitely had it rough in this one. But overall, top notch episode. If you want to watch my entire reaction to City Sushi, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Hello, sir. Postman Butters with a special delivery for you. What's this? An all-new sushi restaurant just opened in town. Try their lunch specials. Thanks. You can count on Postman Butters. Your mommy has Butters is working? Good stuff. Special Aww. delivery, ma'am. Here you are, sir. Brand new sushi restaurant in town. Oh, a fire for you. <laughs> <Postman Butters. laughs> Bro, nobody was keeping the flyer. Everybody was tossing it. But that's that's really what it's like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you've ever handed out flyers. Most people don't want them. You feel me? Think about the time that somebody gave you a flyer, but you took it because, I don't know, you wanted it to be nice or whatever. You know what I mean? Most people don't want flyers. Welcome to Shitty Walk. Can I take an order, please? Hello, sir. Postman Butters here with a special delivery for you. What are you talking about? It's a coupon for a brand new Asian restaurant that just opened up in town. How come every time a hardworking Chinese man opens a business, some smelly Japanese dog has to come and try and invade him? <laughs> oh, you uh, big I don't man. know. I'm just being paid to hand out flyers. Where is this Japanese attorney? All right, so that answers our question, right? Like, a homie literally said, hey, man, I'm just, I'm just getting paid to hand you this flyer. So he's not a mailman. He's just handing out flyers. Pirate Paul, how far from my city walk? Oh, you mean there's a sushi restaurant? It's right over there. What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog. I be mad as hell too, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. What's the big idea putting your sushi right next to my city walk? I'm sorry, I do not understand your accent. You want a shitty tuna roll? <laughs> no, I don't want tuna roll. I want you to go find another shitty town and open your shitty sushi place. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I rock with the word play. The way, the way they're saying city means two things, you feel me? Obviously, I'm not going to break it down because YouTube might demonetize me for talking about it, but y'all get what I'm saying. Get out or I call police. Come on, kid. You don't want to eat this sushi. It give you worms. Better than a Kung Pao chicken made from a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my man just Superman punched the city sushi worker. I know y'all saw that, bro. I got to run it back. Roman Reigns is in the building. Sir, does this mailman belong to you? <laughs> That's my son. Is there a problem, officer? There's been an Asian turf war, sir, and your son appears to have caused it. What? what? That wasn't a turf war, first of all. Turf fight? Maybe, but not, definitely not a war. And what the hell did Butters have to do with it, bro? All my man was doing was working. Like, literally, he's getting paid to hand out flyers, and that's what he did. An Asian turf war, Butters. You are grounded. But, sir, I was just handing out coupons for... Don't talk back to me. We'll send a bill for the damages, but in the meantime, please keep a closer eye on your child, sir. Bro, they're billing his family? Damn. Terrible, terrible, terrible officers. Center for Criminally Insane Children? Nah, that's OD, bro. <laughs> Y'all do it too much at this point. Your son is suffering from multiple personality disorder. What? What? How? There are several distinct personalities going on in there. One is named Postman Butters, and yet another is Fireman Butters. And then there's even Inspector Butters and a Professor Chaos. <laughs> nah, oh you're buggy. From what I gather, he seems to mostly jump in and out of personalities when he's outside playing. <laughs> Sometimes he's a cowboy, and other times he's an Indian. And the two seem to be at constant odds. Oh, bro, he's just being a kid. That's a 100% normal, bro. Poor Butters. <laughs> Doctor, what can we do? Should we ground him? No, I don't think grounding him would do much good at this point. What your son needs now is lots of tender, loving medication. Happy no. Medication. 
Tom, a brand <laughs> medication, bro. He almost got me there. He said, tender, love it. Like, I thought he was he was telling him, now nah, he needs his parents to be his parents. My man just jumped the gun, went straight to medicine, bro. Steven, come quick. It sputters. Look. Help, help. Break a one, man. Break a one, no. man. It's clean, clear out the flag town. Looks like we got ourselves a convoy. Honk, honk. Now he thinks he's a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the medication isn't working. <laughs> Yo, these parents absolutely suck bro they have no no sense of imagination no sense of common sense at all you know what i mean they don't they suck bro they they're trash can't fool good buddy you got a smoky on your tail but big rig butters is here to help butters 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 oh, hey dad you're back <laughs> he's back, he's back. <laughs> he, try, he try to shake him out of it he try to get him to snap out of it but homie's in play mode bro that's all it is i love you son i love you too dad you're going to be okay butters do you hear me you are going to be okay bro if anybody needs any any sort of mental health is uh, and mental health help there we go my bad it's the parents. Butters is absolutely normal. Like, my man is just being a kid. The problem is the parents. I've said it before. I've said it again. I'll say it again. Worst parents in South Park, period. All this fighting is just so scary, you know? Chinese and the Japanese been fighting for so long. It's a ridiculous. Ridiculous. What we need is to have a Tweety. What is a Tweety? No, no, we need a Tweety. A Tweety? No, not a Tweety, a Tweety! Oh, you mean a Tweety? What the <laughs> f*** is a Tweety? <laughs> no, no. Bro, they're, they're going back and forth and they're saying the same exact shit, bro. Same sound, saying it the same exact way. You and me, we put on a big assembly for all the kids at the school, and then everyone understand the cultural difference. You know, so they know fried rice isn't from Japan and teriyaki isn't from China. Teriyaki isn't from China? No, teriyaki not from a <laughs> China! <laughs> Very well. I will do assembly with you. And when you get to that assembly, you're gonna get big surprise, you Japanese dog. Damn. Butters, when you were playing in the yard yesterday, do you remember becoming someone named Big Rig Butters? Yeah! What big rig butters? That sounds hard, bro. Like that could be his WWE name or some. And is there someone else living with you? Someone named Professor Chaos? Oh well, he's the bringer of destruction and evil. He's a bad man. Huh? He doesn't like butters, does he? Does Professor Chaos want to murder butters? <laughs> what well, the hell? Not? Who am I speaking to now? Me, butters. Ah, butters, you're back. Bro, I I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. Him and, 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 and Butter's parents are... These guys suck. Sir, I'm confused. I know you are. This is going to sound scary, pal, but... You have people living inside your head. And some of them want to murder you. No! Really? Yes, I'm afraid you're a little sick. But it's okay. Because together we're going to get you well. Don't listen to Dr. Janice. He's a mean old man and a big silly grown-up. Pardon me? He's just a big old stick in the mud who doesn't like to play. Don't mind him, Butters. Billy's a pretty messed up kid. He was by his uncle, you see. Dr. Oh Janice isn't God. going to be alive for long. I'm going to him. Now, what are the things that make you happy, Butters? Nah, we, we're not about to continue this conversation. Like, you didn't just have an episode yourself, my guy. What's happening right now? How are you trying to help somebody go through something that you haven't even gone through all the way yourself? You know what I mean? Yo. This is Butters. It's Wednesday night at 9 p.m. From what I understand, there are people living inside my head and they want to kill me. It must be true because now every night I wet the bed. 
So tonight, uh, I'm so. gonna leave the camera on to see what exactly I become while I am sleeping. Oh man, this is freaky. Like that movie Paranormal. <laughs> well, good night, Good night, Butters. Good night, Butters. Bro, that's his Dr. doctor. Janice? How do you get in the house? <laughs> oh my god! What? So it's not even it's not even his urine that's on the bed? Bro, poor butters. Look at the poor kid. My man's literally got peed on and got beat the hell up in his sleep. And he couldn't do anything about it. He couldn't call for his for his parents. He couldn't get up and run out. He couldn't do anything. Yo, he he better show his parents this. You know what I mean? Like he better not just hold on to this info. Please welcome Mr. Lou Kim and Mr. Junichi Takayama. Takayama. Yo, you know what song they should have came out to instead, bro? Um. In Gundam style, that joke, that would have been perfect. Did you know that China and Japan are actually a different countries? Oh, really? Hey, that's <laughs> really? Right. If you look at map, you can see. This whole thing is China and Japan is this little bitty country over here. And that's why the Japanese always try and take over China. What? Wow, he really had to talk his ish. You know what I mean? He done pissed off the Japanese man. The Japanese rape and kill people in that king. The only thing Japanese rap more than killing people is killing themselves. Suicide rate in Japan sky. Oh, oh no, the hell he did it. Oh, no, I'm a Japanese and I had a bad day. I think I gotta kill <laughs> my <myself. laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to edit this video a lot for YouTube. Oh, so you're on to me, huh, you little Huh? What, Inspector Butters figured out I set him up? Well no, I just thought it was one of your other personalities trying to get in. Oh, come on, you think multiple personality disorder is real? I've been using that to scam this town for seven years. Now I gotta get out of here, thanks to you. But I'm getting one last heist before I go, and you're gonna help me! Bro, it was all a scheme? Nah, nah, I already know where this is going, bro. You got the jewelry store. You got Butters and Homie outside the window. Damn. Yo, but whole time Homie was just like faking it. That's crazy. The vault, get to the vault. <laughs> Did he just smack the shit out of my man Butters? Nah, bruh. The vault, get to the vault. Tag me in, bro. Tag me in, bro. Let me, let me, let me get a piece of homeboy right here, bro. I'll your parents. I'll your friends. I said get that door open. I'm trying, sir. Butters? Butters, what are you doing? <laughs> what is that, a blowtorch? Put that down. You're having another episode. What? No. Butters, your name is Butters. Try and remember. But you said to, but I got to, you told me to. Oh, my oh God. Oh, boy, you've really done it this time. I know it's not your fault, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to alert the authorities, pal. Nah, that's that's that bull right there, bro. Like, my man's literally just said, "I don't, I, I, I've been scamming y'all." You know what I mean? Homie admitted to scamming South Park, and that there's no such thing as that split personality thing. You know what I mean? But here he is having another episode. Setting my man's butters up for failure. Thank God you came when you did, Dr. Janice. Breaking into a store, Butters? What are you? <laughs> well, I suppose there's no need for jail, Mr. and Mrs. Stotch, so long as you ground your son. Oh, we'll ground the shit out of him, Detective. Oh my Thank you so God. much. Yo, my pants just hit him with the, what are you? I don't even know you anymore, kid. I'm a sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I admit it. I f***ed you at the assembly. Hey, How yo. about you and me together do an Asian Diversity Festival? Get the f*** out before I call police! Please, I am meeting it, okay? 
I fucked you, Adesambri. <laughs> hey, no yo, it. my guy. I'm a, listen, there's people here, bro. I'm going to need you to word that differently because you and I know what's going on, but they don't. <laughs> and the way you're worded it, buddy, you making me look different. You know what I mean? You making me look a certain type of way in which I do not roll in. <laughs> you feel me? It, it was very <laughs> sneaky. Kind of like a Pearl Harbor. Okay. That was a little sneaky too. Huh? Okay, if we can have an Asian diversity festival, then we no longer have to deal with racial stereotypes. Please. Against my better judgment, I will trust you one more time. But one time, more time. You better not rub your hands together when you turn around to walk away. And that, that Damn, is why? Day, you're gonna get a little surprise, you Japanese dog. You gotta give it to him. Like, my man is, is, is trying his hardest to get the competition out of town. I get it, but damn, y'all can't, can't just get along and coexist on the same street. Bro, throw events together. Give out coupons towards each other's places. Like, I don't know, push each other to be great. You feel me? That does it. You hear me? I am through with all of you. No more postman butters. No. No more inspector butters. No more porn star butters. No more professor chaos. And no more. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I think I heard something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No more inspector butters. No more porn star butters. <laughs> All righty then, butters, <laughs> and do your thing, G. No more Professor Chaos, and no more. Go inside, bro. Where the hell are you going? Butters, please. It's me, Billy. You gotta help. He sounded low key like uh Michael Jefferson, bro. The mean man that lives in our head is trying to take over for good. Um, excuse me. No, yes. no, 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 no! Don't call out for help! He's got a gun! <laughs> if you draw any attention, he'll us! Please, Billy, I I'm just a kid, too. I can't help you. No, you can't. But you know somebody who can. Inspector Butters. You don't understand. For some reason, the mean man is getting stronger. You have to help me find out how to stop him. Please! <sighs> Mr. Takayama, a note for you. Konnichiwa, my fine Japanese friend. It's so great that Chinese and the Japanese are finally getting around. We should take our picture together on top of the Tower of Peace. I'm up there waiting for you now. Please, come meet me on top of the Tower of Peace. I don't know, man. It will be really nice. Yes. And when you get to the top of that tower, you're going to get a little surprise, you Japanese. Oh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> see you on top of tower. He actually wrote that on the letter, bro. What an idiot. This is kind of fun. You're Inspector Butters, and I'm your faithful assistant, Dr. Watson. All right, Watson. Well, let's find out what we need to and get out of here. Yeah. Butters, what are you doing in my house? What? Oh, dear. It's okay, Butters. You just think you're Inspector Butters right now. Oh, man. Come on, Bro. let's get you home. Where are you going, Butters? Oh, come on! <laughs> you are leaving here, Inspector. Oh, no! None of you are! Ah! Did he just rip? What? It was a toupee? <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This is a whole movie. This whole time this one dude was the uh the city walk person. Is is he not white? Is he not Asian? I mean, is he not Chinese? Which Yeah, I'm confused. Holy crap, what time is it? Oh no, I'm right. Holy it's another personality, bro. Wow. That was an unexpected 
twist. What took you so long? No, don't do it! Don't f*** yourself, Bree! <laughs> That's foul! Myself. No, don't do it, please! So much rainfall! The we know through? the truth, Dr. Janus! It's the Chinese rat trying to f*** me! He's not Chinese! He's white! Hey! What are you talking about? Your name is Dr. Janus! You people crazy! Listen to them, it's true! Truth hurts, doesn't it, Janice? Who are you people? Why He's are you all nuts, here? nuts, bro. How could I let myself believe white man was a Chinese? I have brought shame upon myself. Blah. No! Bro! <laughs> he got, I hope he got the outcome he wanted originally. Holy. Hell yeah. Give him a hey, flower. I'm just glad the whole thing is over and done. Maybe now poor old Dr. Janice can finally get the help he needs. Yes, Butters. Thanks to you, maybe Dr. Janice can get back to his real self. Yes, I'm sure he could. What's his real self, though? Like, at this point, does he even know who he really is? You know what I mean? Because he's been he's been the, uh, the City Walk guy for a minute. You feel me? But then he's also been, um, damn, I forgot his name already. The therapist. You feel me? But then again, does the world really need another therapist? What do you mean? Well, I mean, would it really be so bad for us to just let him go on thinking he's Liu Kim forever? Now that City Sushi is gone, City Walk is the only Chinese restaurant left in town. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but I caught I caught what he did there, bro. Super slick. My man said, my man said, now that City Sushi is gone, that makes City Walk the only Chinese uh restaurant in town. But the whole time, even when City Sushi was around, you see where I'm going with this? City Walk was still the only Chinese restaurant out there. But nah, what I was going to say was, is that really how it works? If they just allow him to live his life thinking that he's the city walk guy? Like, won't he still have an episode where he comes out of that and becomes um, Billy or, or, or whoever else, whatever, whatever other characters he has in his mind? You understand what I'm trying to ask? Sign off in the comments below. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just let him keep believing he's a Chinese man. Done. Good. All right. All right. Yeah, go. Yeah. All right. Detective, he's asking for a blanket. Is that all right? Go ahead. We're going to process him and get him back to the restaurant. Thank you. Oh, I thought I thought that was going to be him right there. Ooh, I Japanese people. They trying to shut down my city walk, but they never leave. They're probably all watching me. The Japanese. Bet them. I'm not even gonna swat that fry. They'll see. And they'll say, wow, that is shitty walk owner. Why, he wouldn't even harm a fry. Bro, that was a very eerie ending. I, I, I got to say, man, that twist where homie was the City Walk guy made this episode, like, it jump completely for me. This has got to be one of my favorite South Park episodes so far. Absolute banger. Sign off in the comments below. Let me know what South Park episode is next. And I get to that ASAP. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, man. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.